Telepan TV. I'm Larissa Raphael. I'm the pastry chef at Telepan. It's Thanksgiving, and today I'm going to show you a twist on apple pie. And the first thing we're going to get started with is the apple filling. We're going to peel the apple and put and dice this. You can pick for your apple filling your favorite apple to cook with. Okay, so to dice an apple, the easiest way is to just slice off a piece to make it kind of flat, and then you're going to cut about a quarter inch thick ring. Okay, once you have the piece sliced, then you're going to cut it into dice. I just put a few pieces together, and then I cut about a quarter inch. Okay, so now we have all the apples diced, and we just need to make the filling. This part's the easiest part. We're just going to add everything into a pot. So we have the apples we're adding, some sugar. Then we're adding in a little bit of spices. I have some cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, a pinch of salt, a little bit of lemon juice to help brighten up the flavor. Then we add a cup of water, some flour. You're going to put your flame onto medium, stir everything up, and then you just let this simmer until it starts to thicken. It's gone for about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to stir in the butter at the end. Now I have the filling all finished, and it's thick, and you can see it's ready to go. Okay, so while your apple pie filling is cooling down, we're going to mix the apple pie crust. So put in about a cup of flour. You have about half a teaspoon of salt. So let your flour and salt mix together. Just for a few turns of the paddle. And then we're going to add the lard. So cut your pork fat into the flour and it should start to look like cornmeal before you add the water. Once the lard is cut into the flour, you're going to add water, ice water, a little bit at a time. I have about half a cup here. You're looking for the, you don't want to add all the water at one time. You want to add it a little bit slow and see how your dough is mixing together. You can finish it off by kneading it with your hand. Let your dough cool in the fridge for about a half hour, just to set up a bit, and then you can roll it out. Okay, so now the dough is sat in the fridge for a half hour. It's still a little bit soft, but it's set up. So now I'm going to roll it out. You want to roll it as thin as you can. You put some flour down on your tabletop. Roll out your dough. I keep moving it around. So once you have the dough pretty thin, you can see it's about an eighth inch thick. So I'm going to cut out the, the pie dough. Sure, I'll have a circle and create a form. Okay, so you made your, your apple pie filling cold. The dough's rolled out. You have your circles cut. So now all we have to do is form the pie. You need a little bit of water. You can use a brush or you can just run your finger around the outside. Then you're going to take your apple pie filling. It's probably about a tablespoon. And you're just going to place it right into the middle of the pie. Okay, so now let's form the pie. All you do, fold it over and let the edges touch. And then you just use your finger and pinch it. Pinch it. Okay, so now it's time to fry your apple pie. I use canola oil and you want to bring the temp up to 350 degrees. You just drop your pies in. Another option, you can bake these apple pies. Once you have them all formed, put them on a sheet pan, place them in an oven, 350 degrees, bake them till they're golden brown. So once they're nice golden brown, and let them cool on some paper towel. So now it's time to serve the apple pies. It's always good to put a little powdered sugar on. And you can put a little cinnamon on if you like. You don't have to. Yum. There we go. Mm. Happy Thanksgiving from Telepan TV.